What's up? You're watching Hive Mind. Our guest today is Jonah Baseball, and this segment is What's called up? Number Ones. All right, Jonah. The number one song right now is Rockstar by Post Malone, featuring 21 Savage. Thoughts on the song? Have you heard it? Yeah, I've definitely heard it. That's number one on Billboard right now? Yeah. It's a pretty good song. I don't, lyrics on it aren't as strong. I love Post Malone. I'm like a huge Post Malone fan. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely like not number one Post Malone. Yeah. But it's tight. Yeah, the, All I know is he's going to be going number one for a long time. Yeah. But I want to hear more more That's awesome amazing. Post Malone stuff like on Stony. All right. Uh, number one album in the country right now. Reputation by Taylor Swift. Second week in a row. Oh, man. I heard the most trash review of that album. It was just like, he was like, it's too perfect. I can't enjoy it. It's not too perfect. It's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pop music and and she's like biting on so many things. I don't know. Just from what I've heard, I'm not into it. I'm not into Taylor Swift at all. Man, I don't know. I didn't give She's like album trying to do anything, it seems like. Mm -hmm. She's going to keep doing it. It's too. like a desperate yeah. album, in my opinion. And there's like this line on there where uh, she's like, she's saying something like, if it doesn't work with you, I'll stumble home to my cats. It's like seri <laughs> seriously the line. She but she does it in like this kitty pride kind of way, which is like super weird. Yeah, I kind of, I definitely hear that kind of like 2011 rapper flow on in Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> Never on new thought album. I'd hear someone say that. But she kind of does are. like, I don't know, a little bit of that and I like a little bit of like Kesha dipping into that. And both of those things I don't really like, to be honest, but yeah. Who was it that just worked with Kesha? Theo what? Ka Theo Katzman Theo from Volpeck. He was on the newest Kesha album. What? That's yeah. pretty wild. So is this homie, uh, Roger. He's getting on everyone's albums. So maybe Kesha's cool, got right? a little more clout now? Yeah, I just... She worked with Ben Folds. Ben Folds is cool in my Shout book. Shout out Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want clout in 2017, work with Ben Folds. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I looked this one up today. The number one shoe sold in Michigan last year, and Ohio for that matter, was a Converse. Just like a high top? The classic Chuck Taylor high top. I, I have a lot of those, but I haven't bought them in forever because my dad only wears Chuck Taylors and boots and basically always gives me his old Chuck Taylors. Hmm. So I've never bought that shoe. I can never contribute to the statistic, but it's true. We wear that shoe. Hmm. Keeping it Detroit, uh, a classic Detroit number one, uh, Chauncey Billups. I just saw him in like an ad on Instagram randomly. Oh, yeah. Like an Uber. And he was like, give some tips on life. And, <laughs> and that's all I can remember, man. These ads are really targeting you. Yeah, they knew that we were going to ask this. They that's knew how. everything is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> man, it's, it's, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. Dude. A friend of mine recently found this like pin collection. They're like. Nice pins of the whole like 2004, 2005 Pistons team. He's got Chauncey Billups pin. I mean, I do remember uh, last year when they were in the news again, the 04, 05 Pistons, because Chauncey Billups said they used to smoke before games. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. They were good, so. Yeah, I know. Chauncey advocates for that. He said that he thinks they should stop drug testing NBA players because they should That's be able to interesting. smoke and play. You know? oh, Ron Artest used to drink Hennessy before games, and he had like a 19-year career. So that game was that fight was just across. Yeah, one one game he drank way too much Hennessy in Detroit. Yep. <laughs> I can remember a game. Yeah. He might have thrown a chair. But someone threw a beer at him. That's fucked up. That stadium's gone though, so let's leave the bad memories. Oh yeah, that's really. gone. It's true. The palace is no more. It's probably still like a place where like Chance the Rapper will play and shit like that. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, talking about Chance the Rapper, he's on SNL tonight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with Eminem. Yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. I'd have rather. Have Why do I even know that? I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather have it the Everything. other way around, just to see Eminem in some skits. A controversial number one. The uh, the number one movie in the country right now is Justice League, but it flopped like miraculously. So it's the number one movie because like by default, 
but it sold like 40 million less than it was supposed to in this first oh, week. Oh, really? Yeah. But more than any other movie? Yeah, more than any other movie. Yeah, Just because there's nothing really out this week that's... So... Last movie I remember seeing was at the drive-in, and it was Wonder Woman. Oh, Like, yeah. in, th- in a theater, at least. What'd you think of that? And I didn't like it. It was, oh, like, really? too dark. It was, like... The whole movie felt like it was underground. Not a good movie. Not a good movie for the driving. Too dark. We could see the Wonder Woman screen, but in the distance you could also see Baywatch. And oh. I was watching Baywatch most of Should the time, but with the audio from Wonder Woman in the car. No, I didn't even need binoculars. It was just there. There's like eight screens. Oh, okay. I think the the Ford Wyoming drive-ins the biggest in it's the like country. A silent disco, kind of. It might be the biggest in the world. I don't know if they have drive-ins like that. <laughs> talking about baseball number yeah. one team is the astros <laughs> i know and the crazy thing is that i saw verlander pitch down the street from my house pretty much and then he got his traded up and then yeah like in september which is crazy they probably wouldn't have won that without him which was crazy because last year was the best world series of my life i thought so that i've too. ever seen and i was like man i was kind of bummed after that because baseball i was like Baseball can't get any better, so we're gonna. I just figured baseball was gonna be slow for a few I think years. It got better. Something, and it got better. It got better, yeah. Baseball keeps getting better, and yeah, this was the second best World Series I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd agree. I'm an Indians fan, so I was a little upset. Yeah, well, they lost, but it was exciting. <laughs> Doesn't matter who wins; it's got to be a good, good game. Yeah, sometimes it matters who wins, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll say that when a team that I really like, you know, is in the series. I was reading about this one today. Uh, the number one Christmas toy for this year is the Fingerlings. And what these are are these little tiny monkeys. They're like almost like sugar gliders, but they're little like plastic ones that you put on your finger. And a lot of kids just like love them. I guess they keep adding like all these little like functionality, little things you can play with them, like you know like play games on them or something i don't really understand it but apparently they were the most popular last year and they're even more popular this year projected to just like what do you do with them i guess these kids put them on their fingers and then they i don't know they have like lights and little switches and shit people play with i don't know the fit that's so silly what what kids are like check it out got all this shit on my fingers <laughs> why don't you just like hold something or like do a trick <laughs> I'm into yo-yos, kendamas, or fidget spinners. Yeah. That's what kids should have if they need something stupid to put on their hands. I haven't seen the fingerlings yet, though, so I might be on board. I, it's I, true. I, I don't know that, what like, it looks heard, like at all. When I heard fidget spinner, I was like, Psh. and then I like yeah. got finally did one, and I was like, all right, I get yeah, it. Like, fun. why? <laughs> why people like these? So, I don't know. Feels nice. Maybe I'll like fingerlings. I'm a future fingerlings fan. It's like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> I once got stuck in a Chinese finger trap for so long that I got sent home because my teacher thought that I was like doing it on purpose or whatever, but it was stuck in there the whole class and I really couldn't get it out because I was panicking. And they sent me home. They just called my mom and they're like, yeah, grading just too much to be in class today. And I told my mom she didn't believe me and thought I did something worse. It was just a trap. Dang, mom. those are bad teachers. They should have just been like, come here, I know how to break this. Oh, it it's was made out of wicker. That's the only story I have about Chinese finger traps. 